it's your boy the righteous messenger and i'm on for today i'm going to talk about the question whom did cain marry in the bible whom did cain marry in the bible i'm on for those who know the bible those who read the bible knows that genesis is a foundation or one of the books that forms the foundation of this book that people claim is the word of god the first five books genesis exodus leviticus numbers deuteronomy i'm sure it's called the pentateuch as well or the pentateuch some some people call it these five books are the foundation of the christian bible and in genesis the first humans were created in Genesis somewhere in the beginning and first it claims that God created Adam and then later created Eve Adam and Eve had two sons Cain and Abel this is in the Bible in Genesis and then if you know the story at a certain point Cain killed Abel because of jealousy because um, the God asked them to to perform a sacrifice and God was more pleased or accepted Abel's form of sacrifice and this made Cain jealous so in the end he killed Abel so now we have three people Adam, Eve and Cain but then somewhere in Genesis 4.17, I'm sure, it says, Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bore Enoch. You see? So the question is, where did this wife come from? Because after Cain killed Abel, we know he went to settle somewhere called Nod. You see? And even if you say he married from this not place the bible doesn't say that the bible doesn't account for the wife or the mother of cain's son enoch this is a problem in the bible and this is supposed to be the word of god someone like me how will i accept this is the the, the, the bible or this is the word of god if such Simple problems are there. These questions are unanswered in the Bible. This question has troubled people or readers of the Bible from ancient times up to now because I'm reading the Bible and I'm seeing these questions. A question like this. This is one of the problematic questions in the Bible. This question cannot be answered. I don't hold the view that the Bible is a historical document. But some people do. People who believe in the Bible. Fundamentalists. Apologists. People who believe that these claims are the word of God. Believe that the, the Bible is a historical document and it's accurate. I don't think so. story of Cain meeting a woman when there were only three people at that stage in the bible and even to the extent of having a son with her called enoch this story questions the historical accuracy of the bible mm, it's the word of god oh look at such a mistake it doesn't make sense three people are there now you are saying that one of them meets a woman somewhere and they have a child I'm awful think about it. Some people or some believers of this Bible claim that Adam and Eve later on had other kids or other children. I'm sure it's in Genesis 5 verse 4. And they're saying that Cain might have married one of his sisters or 
had a child with one of his sisters. Yeah, man, for even does this make sense? Yeah. They saying that at that time, incest or marrying from your family was accepted. It was necessary and it was genetically safe. But today it's not. You see, all these things, it doesn't make sense. And we are questioning the Bible. We are questioning Christians. We are questioning the apologetics. People who believe that this word is a true or this Bible is a true word of God. We need answers to these questions. A question like this. Whom did Cain marry in the Bible? Please, if anyone has got answers, please leave comments. I'm on for, I'll come with part two of this video to show you some of the stories or some of the claims or some of the analogies that people have prevented. So that people are presented to answer this question. I'm on for is your boy the righteous messenger, and I just came to you know ask this question: Whom did Cain marry in the Bible? For me, this question challenges the accuracy in the Bible. If you think or claim that the Bible is a historical document, this question challenges or questions the historical accuracy of the Bible. And if you are saying it's the word of God and it's perfect as well, this story once again shows that the Bible is not perfect. A God who can't even make his own book sensible. Because it's not sensible. Adam and Eve Cain and Abel, next thing Cain kills Abel, and then next thing the attorney Cain went and you know had a child with someone. Who did you have a child with? We want to know. It's your boy the righteous messenger. Peace. What? What?